Hello group. I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, change the power settings on your USB hubs that Windows sees. Uh, with, uh, for some reason with the latest updates from Windows that it, it's changing these settings uh, and I think basically it's because the drivers have been re rewritten for uh, a bunch of security problems that they've found with those drivers. So, uh, and they've also changed where you look for changing those power settings. You used to do it through the power options, and it's not there anymore. So, uh, what we want to do is uh, set up your machine with the cabling that you use, the hubs that you use, and the cameras that you use. Because if you have a tech that has a hub in it, uh, if you have a very long, over uh, 20 feet uh, active cable, that's got hubs in it. So each one of those that gets plugged in the windows is going to show as a hub. And you're going to need to change the power options on those. So I will show you how that's done. Uh, we're going to want to go into the device manager. I'm sorry, you want to right click on the Windows Orb and go to Device Manager. You know, my allergies are kicking in, so if I'm sniffling, <laughs> I apologize. Okay, a lot of the stuff that we want to find is going to be here. And these generic surface, I have a, this is a surface, surface book two, so it's got some extra hubs because it's got a removable monitor. But if you right click on that and go to properties, you'll see power management. That's the big one. And if you look here, allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. We don't want that. And I had changed all these and Windows put it back in. So I'm thinking that this is part of the uh, uh, Surface Book monitor setting. But just for the sake of doing it, we're going to turn it off. I won't turn it off right now. So what, what we want to do is maybe I'm going to start plugging some stuff in here. So I'm going to plug in uh, my active cable into uh, my powered USB 3.0 hub. And we should see a change. You want to make sure that the power is on when your devices are you're doing this. Okay, I've just plugged the hub in and you should have heard the Windows uh, ding dong there and you'll see that we've added a USB 3 hub. So now I'm going to plug the camera in to the hub. So now the camera is plugged in, and we should see in the image device that uh, I've got a DS16 just got plugged in. <laughs> Excuse me. And we have a whole bunch of new stuff in the list. So I'm comfortable. I have everything that I would use for a session sitting on the floor here. And uh, we're going to go start turning some stuff off. So we're going to right click on this one, go to power management, we're going to turn that off, say OK. We're going to go to here, properties, power management, we're going to turn that puppy off. We're going to do this through 
to the bottom of the list. That one's off. That's good. That one's off. So the first two I'm thinking are part of the uh, monitor for the hub, surface hub, or surf surface book two. These generic hubs. Good. Now you might have to look at this every time you run Windows uh, because when you unplug the device it looks like it's not remembering uh, that this stuff was turned off which is kind of a pain in the butt. That one's off. Hub. This is the hub that I plugged in that wasn't there before. Okay, so I'm comfortable with having all of those devices that are in the chain are now not going to go to sleep because Windows thinks it's time for them to go to sleep. And that's the worst thing that can happen to a tech camera is that for whatever reason, Windows thinks that the camera isn't doing anything and it puts it into a low power state and uh, you're going to either lock up Mellencamp Sky because it went into a low power state and there's no longer enough power to run the camera or uh, the camera just stops working and that's generally the, you'll see that as a freeze like it, the camera is clicking along, clicking along, and then all of a sudden it just stops doing something. So what you wind up doing is you unplug the camera, plug it back in, and it works. And at about the same number of frames, it'll freeze or stop running. That's that low, I believe that's the low power state kicking in. And uh, Windows is uh, attempting to go into a low power mode. So I hope that helps. See you in the group.